Hi guys. Hey, Jack. Hey. Hey. You're back. Hey, you guys a question. Yeah. Um, is it okay to curse in the Bible? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, is it okay to curse on your on your uh, events here? Say well, no. we usually try to replace it with with the with the term "bus" because it, this is ostensibly for the children. Right. So, okay, so if I said something like "bus AT and T," yes, okay? yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, we know exactly what you mean when you say See. that. <coughs> um, Except for us, it's Rogers. Right, right when you were calling me, I'm in the middle of filling out my uh, Comcast internet <laughs> application. Nice. Because, because this was the last straw. I'm done. I'm done with them. Yay! Yay! Free. Right. Right. I'm severing the tie. So I believe we had gotten as far as partway through your first question. I think that's right. Yeah. You, you were talking about the Plants vs. Zombies Magic the Gathering card. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, so Wizards of the Coast, um, they uh, sent us over a, a box that had uh, not just the, the, the card that they made uh, the, in honor of our game, but they also sent us a whole bunch of the new expansion cards. Oh, cool. Uh, so, so that was awesome. Um, there's a ton of Magic fans at uh, PopCap. In fact, there's two tournaments going on right now. There's like a, an experienced Magic player's tourney and then kind of a newbie tourney going on. Oh, wow. I am in, I'm in neither, but, uh, <laughs> but big, fa big fans at, at PopCap. So we were thrilled to uh, to get that homage from them. Awesome. And the same thing goes for um, in World of Warcraft, if folks saw that, um, mm. the Blizzard guys did a a, a, a little PVZ kind of, uh, uh, let's see, what, what area was it in? It was in, uh, you know, across the water, or one, of the, <coughs> one of the northern continents. I'm sorry. All right, Northrend? I played a while. Northrend? What? There Northrend. you go. Um, so in Northrend, they, they had a little setup where uh, zombies were attacking plants, and Sweet. they didn't actually contact us ahead of time, and we did not care. We were just so thrilled uh, to, to be in World of Warcraft. Yeah. Yeah. Pe pe people were asking us, if, like, well, did your lawyers like, get, on, get on them for that? And we were like, why would we do that? Why? Yeah. It was, it was like an honor. Did you hear the, the, the or did you read the story <laughs> from Mark Rosewater's article about designing that card and how it almost no. didn't happen. Well, because he wanted to do a Plants vs. Zombies card, and the card ended up, yeah. just for those watching, if you're not familiar, that card ended up being called Grave Bramble, which is a plant with protection from zombies. He'll now, when the people are designing the cards, they use placeholder names, and so mm -hmm. the, the placeholder name that he used was the Tall Nut. You're right. right. Uh, and uh, so he's just, because that's the, you know, it's because the card is a wall, basically, and so uh -huh. it's a wall that stops zombies. Um, but then when it went from uh, uh, the R&D to the development uh, portion of Wizards, they were like, oh, well, it's a tall nut, so it should have reach, so it can block flying creatures. So they gave it reach as well. And then they were like, but we don't want to have two abilities on a card that's only supposed to be at common, so we'll take the protection from zombies away. No. Be because we want to because we want to maintain the integrity of this tall plant that you're trying to do. And Mark Rosewater oh. was like, no, 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 that was the whole point, was the plant versus zombies thing. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, um, yeah it, was, it was really, uh, all those things are, are really uh, an honor to Popka. By the way, did you guys know what, uh, do any of you know what Plants vs. Zombies original name was before before we released it? No, we don't. It I don't was Lawn know. of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. That's so yeah. amazing. And uh, we actually uh, ran into trouble with uh, with uh, Romero. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or, or I don't know if it was Romero or whoever owns that property now. Right. I shouldn't say Romero. I don't know. But, yeah, but that was sort of the, the runner-up name. But everybody... Uh, Likes it now, but at the time it was kind of a bummer to pop cap. I bet. Um. Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Sorry, there's all these uh, questions here. Um. No worries. <laughs> I'm trying to calm down from my AT and T wrath. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is the Zen Ball so overpowered? What the? <laughs> That's so funny. That that's coming up a lot now. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's uh, they must be talking about the iPad, iPhone version. I think. I guess. It, because that's where we're hearing it. I don't know. It, I think we will nerf it. it it's a mistake. Okay. It ha it happens. Mm -hmm. That that's the reason. What because is we hate you is the other reason. <laughs> that yeah, that's that's fair. Popcap hates you personally. Oh. 
<laughs> that's our new that's our new company uh, logo. Oh, motto. Yeah. We hate you. But we keep, hate you. Here's the jewels. <laughs> but I keep buying, but I keep buying your stuff. Actually, that buy actually, our games. That ex- that explains bejeweled a lot because. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Only wait, if wait. you hated me would you do that. Wait, yeah. True story. It's a great ad campaign. True story. Uh, yeah. Bejeweled blitz on the iPhone. For yeah. a while, I got. I have a problem with any kind of like puzzle or game like that. And for a while, I played it so much that I gave myself a repetitive strain injury in my right wrist. And yeah. I went to my doctor and I was like, "My wrist hurts." And she's like, "Stop doing that." Then she's very nonsense. She's very it no hurts nonsense. When I do this, doctor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. When uh, when I was in uh, on the magazine, am I still with you guys? Mm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. I don't want to have to get mad again. I'm fine. Um, when I worked for the magazine and I wrote about PopCap Games at one point, I, I really felt at the time, because I was getting super addicted to Bookworm at the time and Peggle, that these one-minute games, these short games, are really like kind of more insidious even than like an MMO or a game like Skyrim, just because that one more minute thing that, ah, it's just a minute, yeah. is, so, is so evil because it, evil in a good way. Yeah. But, <laughs> I can fit another uh, round in before the light turns green. <laughs> right. That is now um, illegal in British Columbia. Right. It's just so easy to just say, well, I'll just play one more, I'll just play one more, and then by the time you know it, it's like two hours in your yeah. hand hurts. So, um, I do have a piece of advice to you for if you are playing Bejeweled Blitz, uh, whether it's on Facebook or iPhone, and that's never befriend anyone from PopCap because... Oh, then you'll just cry forever. Yeah, now that I work there and uh, all these guys are my friends on Facebook, I'm like number 50 on the leaderboard. Like, they're just too good. <laughs> I, add a, um, I add Loading Ready Run fans that add me, yeah. and so there's there's two or three two or, two or three people that every week I'm just yelling at my phone, just how? How? <laughs> how do you do this? Yeah, there's a, a, a couple folks who routinely get a 900,000, a million um, every week in the oh, no. uh, You know, I've peaked at like 400. I That's think. just wrong. Wow. Um, uh, speaking of... Just say goodbye, because oh. I'm on my way to... We're going to go see Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> oh, yay! Sorry, yeah. so you look so enthused. The entire okay. Twilight thing. I yeah. count Oops. yourself lucky. I'm so out of the loop. Smart. They're horrible. It's okay. Yeah. Stay out yeah. of the loop. Yeah. Yeah. He's not do doing not, it by choice. Do not enter the loop. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it as a form of torture <laughs> to the kids. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You should live tweet it or something. Yeah, I've yeah. done yeah. that. We forced him to see the first one like multiple times. All right. I think I am going to read Hunger Games, though. That one seems. Um. Okay, so. I'm only asking this question because we, we we've asked it to basically every uh, guest call in so far. What uh-huh. is uh, what is your stance on erotic Star Trek fan fiction? Oh man! I, just, I knew this was coming because I was watching you guys. Oh yeah, nice. nice. Um, You're welcome. And I I wasn't sure how to to um, confess that I'm not I'm just not a Star Trek guy. So, cool. as far as I'm concerned, they could all get naked and all <laughs> they, they could all do what they want with each other. Okay. I mean, I, I'm a Doctor Who fan, and right. there I might have something more to say. But with Star Trek, I don't care. They could just have one big gold, you know, forge. So That's you're right. extremely positive for Star Trek slash fan fiction. I think they should all just get it on all day long with each other. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And then kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sweet episode. <laughs> yeah, I'd watch that one. Yeah. That one I'd watch. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't. You know. Dear, no, 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 no. I'm just looking at the next question here. Dear Doctor Evil Genius, has the master plan succeeded now that all the grandmothers on the planet are under are under the direct control of the casual orbital laser beam of assimilation? <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you answer that? Yes, and they're okay. coming for you. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. All right, we shall warn them. Um, uh, I don't, then they have a question about Half-Life Episode 3, which I don't think is, you, think, you know, I, uh, I, don't do think that's, I don't think that's your purview, is yeah. it? Well, not anymore. Um, when I worked at the, at the at Computer Gaming World, I think we actually had that, uh, we had that on the cover of one issue, because... Right after episode two, that was around the time that Valve was talking about how they were going to keep pumping out these episodes. Right. And it was going to be on a very regular basis. And I think our cover line at the time was something like, <laughs> would you believe a new Half-Life every three months? And it turned out, of course, nope. we, should, we shouldn't have. No. 
Valve time. Uh, Still love them. Still, you know, Gabe Newell, one of the great geniuses and good guys of the entire Mm -hmm. game industry. He's an amazing guy. Mm. Um, And so anything he does is okay. Oh, totally. Do you have a favorite Mm -hmm. plant in Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, God. Um, You know, I'm a big fan of the stuff that will will, um, just save your ass at the last second. You know, I really like the chompers. The uh, you know the uh, you know the <laughs> those guys. Yeah. Is that you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, and also the uh, the red the red peppers are some of my favorites. Um, not really though. I, I think I think the key to that game is you got to use them all and you got to know when to use them all. Right. You got to know when is the right time for all of them. Mm-hmm. So I don't like to pr- play favorites. What's your least favorite? Because I never like the corn cob cannons. They're too slow. Well, they are slow, but you're kind of stuck with them, right, on those first few levels where they show up. Like, yeah. that's all you have. I know that there's some that I've, like, I, like, never use. I never use the potato mines. Yeah, I, I yeah. rarely use them. But we did actually talk about, we're, we're looking at swag uh, for the next packs, and we were talking about getting um, potato mine hats. So it would be oh, like a... Uh, that's kind perfect. Of like a, like a yarmulke on top, but then, <laughs> but then like a red, uh, you know, a red glowy thing, like yes. LED light. What do you guys um, think of that? Awesome. Have you like that? Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm completely behind that. And then that uh, our Jewish, uh, our Jewish fans could just wear those to temple later. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm sure that's be the coolest guys at synagogue. Yeah, I'm sure that's legit. <laughs> um, someone said, <laughs> I had to make sure it existed first, uh, and so I assume it does. What are your thoughts on pop cap game fan fiction? Not erotic, just fan fiction. Oh, by the way, the chat is all saying, well, what's mostly one person a lot, but the chat yeah. in general agrees that yes, that hat should uh, okay. should exist. Okay, I will. I will pass it along. We were looking into it. Um, pop, is there pop? Well, I know there's pop cap fan fiction. There's actually uh, a lot of fiction within the company. In fact, one of the first things I learned when I started at pop cap is. There actually is a backstory to uh, Bejeweled, believe it or not. What? What? Yes, I know, I know. This is my $5 fact from you. (laughs) Yeah, it's really true because uh, right around the time I started and I was going to take over um, a lot of the social channels um, and I was looking into the idea of creating uh, Twitter accounts for different characters or whatever and I made a joke about, um, well, I can make one for Red Gem or something. And uh, Jason Kapalka, who's one of the, of the founders of the company, uh, he sent me an email saying that, you know, you're kidding, but actually there really is a story behind Bejeweled and why you as a player are playing. You know, the, the voice, the guy who's going, excellent, yeah. and all that. He's actually a character in the fiction of, of Bejeweled who's training you to do these things for some reason. What? Which, yeah, and... The really obnoxious thing of me telling you this is like I'm not allowed to tell you what it is. What? Why? I, I, I no. know. You're tearing this me apart. Yeah. I know. I've already <laughs> said that podcast hates you, you, and I don't know what else I've said. So I'm probably already out of a job as it is. Yeah. So, now, can you so give what us I some sh- hints? what I shouldn't do is yeah. hints. Um, well, it's a whole sci-fi yeah. thing. Susan from The Escapist is asking if that has any relation to Diamond Mine. Um, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. But hi, Susan. Okay. <laughs> so, when will we know the backstory when it comes to fruition? <laughs> yeah, when, when the plan movie, movie is. When the <laughs> movie <laughs> comes out. <laughs> Step wow. four is profit. No. <laughs> the Next thing is, Bejeweled Blitz already has a better story than the Transformers movies. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Everything <right>? does. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, um, years ago, uh, you know, when, when Loading Ready Run was, was, was in its infancy, uh, Paul and I were always big <laughs> fans of... Um, the, I guess not really webcomic, but he I think it's only online now of uh, Bob the Angry Flower. Oh, yeah. And Steve Notley for right. some years now has worked for PopCap uh, and yes. I, and working on some of the in-game fiction. Like didn't didn't he do the, the characters for Peggle and such? Steve Notley, uh, he's a hilarious, amazing guy. He's worked at PopCap for years, and most of all of the, uh, not all of it, but a great. A deal of the writing in all of our games comes from Steve, so that that kind of goofy, uh, you know, slightly off kilter sense of humor that you see in everything um, comes a lot from him. And in fact, I'm not, we don't link to it on popcap.com, but he actually keeps uh, 
a blog uh, run by Bjorn, uh, the unicorn, from Peggle. Well, and uh, yeah. that's been going on for quite a long time, and it's really a great read. I think you could probably just Google search it. So speaking of, uh, of uh, fiction, there's a whole Peggle universe fiction that Steve Motley himself writes. So. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, <clears throat> so this... This is a little uncomfortable because uh, of your the horrible AT and T problem that your yeah. your call has run sort of late and no worries. Yahtzee from Zero Punctuation is due to be phoning in in about five I, minutes uh, time. I would not want to take even uh, one more minute of uh, <laughs> of time that that Yahtzee could be taken because <laughs> I'm a big fan of Yahtzee. So. Yeah. Um, uh, well, actually, uh, I tell you what. By way of segue, here's a question from the blog. Have you seen his review of Peggle? And if so, what did you think of it? <laughs> Actually, I haven't. Oh. So did he like it? Uh, or did I, he hate it? I am not entirely sure, to be honest. I think he liked it. I I think, he liked it. I, I think he it. liked it a lot. Yeah. I think he liked it, yeah. yeah. Then, I, then I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> no, yeah. That's some of Yahtzee's best work. <laughs> yeah. I've been reading it for years, but that review was probably his most uh, apt and correct. A tour de force, yeah. if you will. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A tour de force, indeed. Inspiring. Yeah. Well, if, if he didn't like it, though, it was a tour de force of poop, right? It, it was the worst thing I ever read. Yes. Okay. Nightmare. Good. Um, oh, well, uh, sure. next time, yeah. if we do this again in a year, when you call me, I'll be on Comcast. Excellent. <laughs> Yay. So we can actually do a real, a real interview. That sounds okay. awesome. Well, th well, uh, thank you so much for calling in and for sticking with it and figuring AT and T back and yeah. uh, figuring it out and calling us back. We really appreciate well, I that. I wish you guys uh, all the best, and uh, I hope we raise. Uh, what What's your big goal? Do you have a big? Ah, uh, I don't reach. We turned on you know beat what? last year, so numbers numbers are meaningless at this point. We can't process it now. Got it. <laughs> I mean, we're just gonna keep going and raising what we can at this point. Well, you guys are doing great work, and uh, I know that I and all the, the whole gaming community really appreciates what you do. Well, so, thank you so thank much. You. Really appreciate Hang it. Hang in there. All thank right. You. All right. I will yes. talk to you again. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, Jeff. Bye.